Hi guys, my name is Melissa. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining. And if you're not new, welcome back. I am so happy to have you here. As you can see, I did not just wake up, but I did not get ready. I'm trying to get my schedule back on track. And I figured I'd do a natural makeup look with a lash. So I think this video is going to be more of a talk through video. And if you hear that noise, it's just upstairs. First, I'm going to start off with moisturizer. My face has been clearing up um as you saw in the last few videos i don't know um my face was really going through it and i had a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of freaking blemishes i did a scrub recently maybe like three days ago and my face feels really really soft i did do a little bit of shave over here like dermaplane and i cleaned up my face and my eyebrows yesterday but i feel like i want to put on makeup just to feel a little bit better about myself during this time um not to look good or anything but to feel good because I just don't feel like doing anything. I am trying to keep a positive outlook and keeping my prayer and just staying positive always. But you know, sometimes things just bring you down and that's okay. The moisturizer I'm using is from Dr. Frog. This is the water full charge all-in-one and this thing works really good. If you have really dry skin, this thing works miracles. But it's all it's for all skin types so if you guys have any type of skin this moisturizer is amazing my next step that i've been doing lately has been using my elf poreless putty primer and this thing works so good i don't i still have like a lot of product and i haven't used this very often but it works really good on the areas that have a lot of like texture and your pores are coming through so basically, I just like to dab it. Oh, and I also like to use it underneath my eyes because it gets some creasing. But my fine lines now, um, they're coming out a lot more. So, you know, because she's getting old. And that's okay. But, you know, I use this to try to minimize the appearance of my fine lines and also my pores. I also put it on my smile lines and the sides of my nose. And the tip of my nose because that's where you see a lot of texture I'm trying to look smooth and cute for my eyebrows you guys know i have been living off of anastasia beverly hill products because they are bomb i don't care what y'all people say there are great products out there but this one has been like my holy grail i've tried almost every product out there this one takes the cake so I am using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and this is in the shade Granite. And basically I just like to comb my brows up, all the way up and fill in the sparse areas. I have my mirror down here just so you know. Everybody has been showing me so much love on my eyebrows on IG and I'm so happy because I've grown them out for years and now they have their own little um, shape that I am very 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 proud of because it's been a long time coming you know Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Granite again use the spoolie and to comb the hairs up and use the opposite end to draw the hairs using a very light pen but enough to get pigment on my brows even if you don't have these specific products you can have similar products and do the same technique so it doesn't matter if you have these products or not just to let you know um, I was one of those people that didn't have any of the products that people were talking about back in the day when I was learning about makeup through YouTube and I just made the best of it you know clear brow gel and this is my holy grail this thing actually keeps your hairs in place so basically I take it and I just roll it through this one because this one does not this eyebrow does not like stay up unless you use this but this product helps this brow stay up and then I just comb the hairs out upwards. And then I come back to the front, do the same thing. And then I will go back and shape it. So that the hairs are not sticking up all the way. Up. 
my good brow it can be stubborn too you know this one is really good with keeping the hairs upward compared to this side but you know it's sparse so you know you gotta enjoy all of the process clean up you can use any concealer you want but i'm using my sephora bright future um gel serum concealer and this is in the shade madeline and a flat brush any flat brush and i'm going to clean up my brows So I've been watching a lot of YouTubers old videos just to get re-inspired again because they do inspire me but you know I miss those old times and the old setup and you know watching their growth on YouTube. Watching their success and their growth has always inspired me to do more especially as a female, as a woman, as a Latina you know it, they're very very inspiring and, and they're very encouraging so I always look forward to watching their videos so when I first started watching her videos I was like wow she's pretty cool like I would love to just hang out with her when if I could hang out with a celebrity for a day it would be Jennifer Lopez but if I could hang out with a youtuber for a day it would be Yvette Excel and her family that's the way she is okay so enough rambling let me continue doing my brows all right so I'm gonna cancel out my dark lids and I'm gonna use my elf 16 hour camel concealer in the shade light beige and just put some on here because it's really really dark I did do a makeup look yesterday and I had some dark colors but I don't think this darkness is from the shadows because I washed my face right after let me just start on this one eye so I did that I'm gonna set this concealer on the lid using my Beauty Creations Mini Pro Palette Volume 2 I love this palette and I'm going to use the lightest shade to set the lid I'm also going to go ahead and take my James Charles palette and use the white in it to set my under eyebrow area. Some tape. Put it on the back of my hand to take away some of the sticky. And place it on my outer V. Okay, so the brush I'm using is the e.l.f. I don't know, smudger brush. It's the really, really flat one like this. And I'm going to take this a brown shade right here, Bougie, from the palette. And I'm going to take some of that. And I'm just going to focus on the outer V. And just create that nice line. I'm gonna smoke it out on the outer view too. I'm going to go ahead and use the creme brulee shade, which is the first shade I put, and just put it over this part of my lid with a fluffy brush. Using the James Charles palette, I'm going to use this really brown taupe shade on the right hand corner. I don't know the name of it. I'm just going to focus that right on the outer crease with the same fluffy brush and bring it in towards the crease. And blend it out. I'm going to use my same brush that I was using for my wing and go ahead with a more warm brown and I don't know what shade this one is but it's this one right here and I'm going to take some of that and put it right over top yeah of the winged liner for my face now that my eyes are almost done for my face I'm using my Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Foundation and this is in the shade FS 4.5 it's a more neutral warm tone and I mix two pumps of that with one pump of my moisturizer I'm just going to mix that 
um, it's been my go-to um, foundation routine and I absolutely love it because it works it creates that extra hydration for me which you guys know I need and this is basically how I put it on because I don't want to get my fingers dirty this is the Sonia Kashuk makeup sponge I'm going to conceal my under eyes with my Morphe C2.25 concealer and I just like to take it like this blend it out and to brighten up the under eye area I would like to take the elf camel concealer and just highlight this area here so that it is a brighter now I'm going to bake under my eye well I'm just gonna set the concealer and I'm using my air spun loose face powder in the shade naturally neutral which I have recently gotten back into because like I told you I've been watching old YouTube videos and I forgot how good this thing was Now I'm going to work on the under eye area, so I'm going to take a fluffy brush and use the warm taupe color, which is this one right here, and just brush it underneath my eyelids. Now to look like I'm more awake, I'm using my Wet n Wild um, highlight, oh, uh, Written in the Stars. For the lashes, I am using my Ardell 110 Black. Um, I think these are the natural ones. They look really natural anyway. And for my um, eyelash glue, I am using my House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. This thing works really, really good. Um, but if you have a hard time sticking the inner corners of the lashes to the lid, like I do, it always tends to pop up. You can just take a little bit of this and put it directly on the lid. Don't get it in your eye because it will burn like a mother effer. Um, and then just hold it there and it'll stay there for the rest of the day. Do you guys see the difference in the eyelash? It's so pretty. I really love these lashes. They're really easy to go on. They don't have such a thick band like most lash bands do. And they stay on and feel so comfortable. They are not heavy. So you guys need to get a pair of these for like if you want to add a little bit of a boost to your everyday makeup look. This will do the trick. For lip liner, I'm going to use my favorite MAC Spice Lip Pencil and line my lips. Now for the lipstick, I am using Stila's Bon Bon Lipstick. Um, this is my first time using it, so... Okay, it's really chocolatey. Just gonna tap a little bit on. And this is it for my makeup look. I hope you guys like this video. I mean, it's super simple. Um, it's super easy to recreate and it took me about 20 minutes to do. Of course, you wanna have everything planned out before, like you wanna take out your lashes beforehand, that way you know where your stuff is at and you don't have to go looking for it so that it can save you a little bit of time. But I hope you guys recreate this look. I really wanna see if you guys do, so please tag me at Makeup by Melissa and that way I can see your looks and I can also repost it and you will be featured in my next makeup video. So, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you guys are staying positive, say your prayers, be productive during this time and just have a positive outlook so that we can all get through this together inside okay love you guys bye